Hey Pisces star seeds, it's Sweet Spirit Mystic. All right, let's see what the messages are. Okay. Let's start here. There's a lot going on in the energy, a lot of shifts. People, especially in or out of your life. So do your best to keep your hands open so that energy can flow in and out, okay? This, the grasping, mm -mm. it makes it really difficult. Okay, so we have thinker, number 44, just saw 55 on the clock. And then truth be told, number 14. So 1444, truth be told, watch your thoughts. If you get these like lightning bolts of insight where you're like, whoa, okay, listen to that. All right, what do we have at the bottom? Milk and honey, number 51. And all that glitters underneath. So it, it, it does talk about your discernment, knowing what is actual milk and honey, sweetness and light, or all that glitters, you know the rest of this saying, is not gold. And those are masks. So you will start to see people's masks fall away. And with knowing that, you know, as you realize who people really are to you on your journey, don't be mad at yourself for not seeing it sooner. It wasn't meant to be seen sooner. Timing has so much to do with it. So just like, oh, wow, okay, it's, it's time that I see this person as they really are. And in hindsight, you'll look back and you'll be like, oh, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, they were saying that, they were doing that. And it's confirmation for you, but it, it is the time now that things change. Okay, we're ending big time cycles with those big outer planets. Okay, so let's see. What does the tarot have to say? The emperor here, I like that energy. Knowing that you are co-creating with universal energies and coming out as the victor. You're really stepping into your power of, you know, yeah, this, this works for me or this does not. We have King of Pentacles energy here, Earth sign energy, and the Knight of Wands. So you're going towards a very stable time in your life where you know who you are, you know what you want, you know what you will tolerate, you know what you won't tolerate, and you're just not going to waste energy. air is very dry where I'm at. So look how the cards do weird things. All right. So let's see. Oh. Okay. The magician. All right. Manifestation using what is available to you. We have the queen of wands and the seven of wands. So there is there is a block here from this Queen of Wands energy. Let's see. Or, sorry, you are blocking this Queen of Wands energy. I'm seeing these foxes here. There's a slyness. It's like, oh, okay, that is who you really are. It was a little bit tricky. I didn't really see it before, but now I do. And... You know, people, people will protect what they need to protect. So whatever that is, it's like, okay, I see what you were doing. Don't be attached to it. Don't be upset by it. Just be like, okay, 
and now I'm protecting myself from you. Okay, so this is, you know, these foxes, there's these baby foxes here, there's this badger here, and you know what, people will do what they have to do to protect their own, whether it's energy, family, otherwise, but you do not have to tolerate that, okay? So we have the Eight of Swords. This talks about a position where you were stuck in for some time, eight years at least, being let out. Because this is the thing, you do this for others. So if you're busy doing it for others, you have a hard time doing it for yourself because you only have so much energy. So now with this, this shift in energy, you're looking at yourself, oh wow, I was, I was stuck by some toxic relationships too. So now it's like, all right, let me get myself out. Two of Pentacles, you know, there was this instability. And now it's your choice to move on. You're not staying in this old energy anymore, okay? So well done you. It's not easy. So this Queen of Wands energy, it's on the light side, someone who's been through a lot, but doesn't look it. Um, they, they probably seem very young at heart. Um, maybe on the shadow side, immature in certain things, but there was an allure there. So it makes sense that that there was this affinity. Um, they could have been, you know, different from you. So they filled in those gaps for you at that time. Now things have changed. All right, yeah, karmic justice is here. So things have balanced out finally. You've seen what you need to see. You've learned what you needed to learn from this energy. And now it's time to just put up a boundary. It's not necessarily you tell people to, you know, get out of your life. Repeating messages, right? The last several days, same readings. Um, it just needs to be said in a different way or the audience needs to come in to hear it or receive it. But, you know, you've learned. Um, so it's time to put this cycle to an end. Ten of Wands, it's been heavy on you. You've been caring too much for someone else. Page of Wands, so this is about finally, you know, hearing the particular message of like, you know what? I didn't expect it to be that person, but I accept it now. And I'm just going to create some space, not give them as much of my energy. And with the two of swords here, you know who it is. Whoever that person was that came into your mind, um, don't doubt that. You know. And it different than who you originally thought, okay? So for a while you might have thought it was a, a partner. A family member. But now it's like, oh wait, it's a friend or a coworker. Someone like that, that you really, you know, trusted. And again, don't feel bad about it. It's a timing thing. You needed to learn certain things from this person. It created a sense of strength in you. So we have the Five of Swords and the Emperor here. So. This is telling me that someone is not happy with this change, with you taking back your energy and call your energy back. I call my energy back from 
whoever. They can no longer feed off of me. That is severed. That channel is severed. And watch, you'll see them reaching out, texting, calling, frantic, wanting to spend time with you. That's because, oh wait, my lifeline, my life support has just been cut. So this is the part where you're like, okay, firm boundaries. And guess what will happen? They will find someone else to feed on. And they'll do it really fast. So don't feel bad about it. Okay. That's how those kinds of relationships work. They're opportunistic. Okay. So have a lot of love for yourself. Be really proud of yourself. Celebrate yourself in some way. Small or big, depending on, you know, how you feel. But yeah, do something for you because this is a big deal. Okay? Fill your cup. You know, again, I've said this before. Empty your cup, clean it out, wash it out, polish it up. And then fill it with new energy. And be very specific what you will tolerate and what you won't. And with the sun card here, that's exactly what you'll get. So I'm really proud of you, Pisces, for seeing this shift, this change with the Hierophant and this Three of Swords. You'll feel this uh, freedom. Like you won't be unintentionally hurting yourself by spending time with this person. Okay, so you're coming in into a brand new cycle, a brand new way of being. You've done so much work, okay? So whoever this is, this fire sign or earth sign, they, they can no longer keep you in their web and feed off of you when they, they need it. All right, think of a spider. They wrap up their prey and they save it for later. Okay, that won't happen anymore. And that's part of them learning about themselves. They have to cultivate their own energy, just like you have. They can't just take from people. Okay. And, and let me say, they, they may have done things for you and, and been there for you in some ways. So it wasn't all bad, but the, the, the energy needs to shift because they're becoming too dependent on you. And that is not the way. Everyone needs to be able to use their own energy, not anyone else's. It's that inner cultivation. All right, Pisces, I love you. Beautiful reading. I'm so proud of you. All right, I'll see you soon.